What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can control your PC or laptop with your tablet or phone. So first of all you will need two downloads and one will be on the PC and one will be on your device. So if you go to this website which will be in the description you can see personal, business, enterprise or classroom so it works for teachers as well. Now if you're doing this for home so just click learn more. This is a free download by the way so you just scroll down and then you click download streamer. It is a free download and once it has done then you gotta go head over to your tablet or phone. Okay, so once you are on your tablet or phone, I'm doing this on the iPod Touch 5th generation. What you want to do is just go ahead and type in Splashtop, which is right there. And you should come up with Splashtop 2. This is what you'll be downloading, this one right here. Make sure you download the correct one. And again, this is also a free download. And just look at the screenshots to make sure you are on the right one. Okay, so once you have done that, what you want to do is go ahead and open up Splashtop Streamer on your PC. And you can see it shows your computer name right here, which is the name of mine. And you will need a login account. So you can create an account right here. But if you've already got one, which I'm guessing most likely you don't, then just go ahead and sign up. It's free. And then after that, just go ahead and log on. So once you are on, just go to the settings and check if everything is okay for you. The sleep settings and this just takes you to your power options then of course you got your security which you can mess about with if you want to and then you've got the advanced which is a port number and the IP address and stuff. But anyway once you have done with all this stuff then we're going back to your device. Okay so when you are on the device just go ahead and launch the Splashtop Streamer app. Now you can see straight away it has found my PC. Now another thing I should mention, when you do launch the app, make sure this is also launched on your PC. This way you'll be able to detect it. So now if you click this right next to it on the side, you can see a bunch of options come up. Now this will affect the monitor on your PC, so make sure you pick the right one. You can see that is my default resolution on my PC or monitor. Now if you mess with it, obviously it will change the resolution on your PC. So I'm going to choose best for this device, well best fit to this device. And then what you do, you just go ahead and click this. Now it connects to your PC. Now you saw the PC flicker there. Hopefully it shows up on the recording of the capture, but I'm not sure if you did see it. So once you do connect, it will flicker on your monitor and make sure that isn't checked. So now the good thing about this, you can see you've got full control of your PC. Turn it sideways and it's just made it a lot easier for you. If you click this arrow down here, it brings up everything you can do. So we've got the disconnect, we've got the help, we've got the orientation lock, we've got something, we've got the mouse, we've got not, uh, switching between monitors and not too sure what that is. So what you'll do is click the mouse one right here. It will give you some tips so you'll be able to get along easily. And you can see here I actually have control of the mouse. I'm controlling it on my PC. It might be a bit delayed, but that's okay. I'm still controlling it. And then of course we can just go click anywhere we would like to go. Now depending on your internet connection, it will decide how fast it will actually respond. Now my internet in my room is not that good because the router is actually quite far away and I've just opened up Sony Vegas for no reason. So you can see I've opened up Audacity. We can actually even record it. Just gotta press it and it will actually start recording. And then, yeah, we don't really need it. So if we go ahead and open up Google Chrome. So we can go ahead and open up Google Chrome like this. You can see we are straight onto the Google page. We have everything here. And just tap on here right here. And then you can see at the bottom right hand corner, you've got the keyboard, just go ahead and tap on that. Now here we go, this is just an error that has occurred. You can see connection last connecting back to your computer, so it connects back automatically, which is good. And as I said, my connections are that good, so make sure you are on a good connection if you are willing to use this. So we're on Google, let's just go ahead and type in YouTube.
and you can see it does come up and I've actually typed it twice there which was a bit of an accident and just close out the keyboard and we can go ahead and open up YouTube now it is very basic to use as you can see and we have just opened up YouTube now I'm not 100% sure if we can actually play videos and watch them through the iPod or your device we'll find out Bada boom, bada boom. I don't know what you got to say, but there you go. It does actually work, and we can. I wonder if we put it full screen. It will make it full screen on the device. So I've just seen the monitor is on full. There we go. It works, as you can see right there, and that is pretty good. I didn't actually know you could watch YouTube videos like this. And then of course, if we open up the keyboard, esc is usually to get out of full screen. Here's esc and it has worked close out of that and that is it it is really that simple to use I really hope I have given you some useful information about this app and I really hope you do use it and as I said make sure you are on a good connection because it will lose connection if you're not on a good connection before when I done this on my laptop it used to work great because the connection was good but now my connections are the best so I will lose connection but yeah, this does work on an Android device, not just on iPods, it works on iPhones and all that good stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. So yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily, check out my FIFA channel where I post daily, and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage, I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope I have given you something new to work with. Yeah, please subscribe, rate, and boost.